Hi everyone, this is Desiree East from DesireeEast.com and this is day 8 of my vlogging challenge with fellow B-School babes, yay! Um, <laughs> I'm such a dork when it comes to that, I don't know why. I still have tons to do for B-School as I always say and um, I just wanted to speak a little bit m more about a program that I am developing. It's called Dharma Creates Bliss. And um, I wasn't sure if that was going to be my brand, or if it was just going to be the program, or if I should have DharmaCreatesBliss.com or DesireeEast.com. And uh, while I was traveling, while my husband and I were on our sabbatical, I have this business journal that, um, you know, I filled with ideas, just scraps and paper and... <laughs> you know, even like little tiny um, collages of what I wanted to manifest for my business. And it's kind of funny, um, as you know, when you're trying to create a brand for yourself, whether it be a personal brand or a, a company brand, um, you come up with all of these ideas. And what's funny about how I came up with Dharma Creates Bliss is, first it started out as Creative Bliss Studios, or I don't know, I had like... 50 million names it seemed like and uh, and I just didn't know what to do but I knew for sure that I, I um, wanted to help other people find their purpose and I knew for sure that I wanted to use art making as a vehicle to help them do that and it's kind of funny how the name came up uh, the last week that we were in Bali my husband was sick. I didn't know if he had dengue. He had a fever, and it was just kind of crazy. But we were surrounded by just beauty with, you know, overlooking the beach, tropical trees everywhere. And it was just, you know, it's hard to not be in the moment of gratefulness and just peace when you're surrounded by that. But anyways, back to my point, the last week that we were there, I had a dream right before I woke up one morning, and the words Dharma Creates Bliss came to my mind, and I said, that's it, that's what I needed to do, that's what I need to call my business, and um, that's after, you know, months and months of brainstorming and um, following Danielle Laporte. Tim Ferriss, of course Marie, and other influencers who have um, pretty much, you know, um, inspired me to follow my dreams. And um, But the number one thing I think how that came about is Deepak Chopra. I have this book, which you may or may not heard of. It's um, The Seven Laws of Spiritual Success, or The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. And... In the last chapter, he talks about Dharma and how when his children were young, were younger, he said to them, uh, I don't want you to be concerned about getting good grades or about making a lot of money. What I want you to do is find your purpose and follow that purpose and share that purpose with the world and then everything else will fall into place. And it resonated with me. And... And it's kind of funny because I've been carrying this book with me for years, since my college days. I, I think I got it as a gift. I don't remember. I bought it at a used book, bookstore. But um, I, you know, it just, it just touches me right here. I don't have words to say to, like, describe what I feel when I talk to people about, you know, finding their purpose, following the Dharma. And it just gives me a really good feeling, and I get really excited about it. So, anyways, um, that's the story behind my Dharma Creates Bliss. And I, like I said, I'm still developing the program, and I, you know, I've got all these ideas of how to approach it. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of overwhelming, but. I'm trying to figure it out, and I'm so happy that you're here with me on this journey. I think I might just start small and then build from there, test things out, and then just kind of go with the flow. But I am very excited, and thank you so much for listening. And um, I guess um, before I leave, 
I wanted, I'd like to ask you, what do you think of when you hear the word dharma? And what does that mean to you? What does the word purpose mean to you in your life? And how does that create bliss in your life? I'd like to know. So if you can leave a message or a comment in the comment section below, that would be great. Okay, see you next time. Bye.